Hi, this is Kathy from Craft with Kathy. Thanks for joining me for day three of Christmas in July. Today we're going to do a little um, home decor using the transfer, their snow place like home. Isn't this the cutest little snowman? And we're going to do it on black canvas. I'm going to position it a little bit to the left so that I leave room for a bow. And I'm thinking we're gonna go with a white snowman, orange nose, of course, um, possibly a blue hat and a blue scarf. And maybe a little bit of, ooh, copper shimmer for the, the twig um, arms. So before I actually start, I need to remove my transfer from the backer, which I need to label. Snow place. Labeling the backing sheet allows me to know or to place the transfer back on the appropriate backing sheet. I'm gonna fuzz the transfer first to reduce the stickiness of the back of it. Our transfers are reusable vinyl and silk screen with an adhesive backing. And the idea behind the fuzzing is we want to apply a little lint to the back so that it doesn't stick quite so much. With proper Cleaning our transfers can be used 8 to 12 times or more. I want to be careful in handling the transfer that does that it does not fold on itself. And I want to put this to the left. And it looks about right top to bottom, I think. Then I, I want to gently smooth the transfer with my fingers, making sure, I'm going from the center outward, that there are no air bubbles. Now I have to admit, I don't have any orange paste, chalk paste. So I have mixed up a little, um, candy apple red and bumblebee to make it orange for myself. And then actually for the white, I'm going to be using our bright white, but I'm also gonna add a little bit of silver shimmer to it. Stir up my bright white a little bit. I want to make sure I have enough to fully cover the snowman Oops. because once I've mixed this, the odds of getting it to be the same mixture is going to be slim. Let's start with a little bit and see where we go from there. I don't want him to look great. I just want to have him to have a little bit of shine. And I'm not really seeing too much shininess there. Hmm. Doesn't hurt to try new things, but I don't really know if the silver would matter with this. Maybe I'll just do, stick with the white. Okay, let me clean off my multi-tool and I'm going to go with just the plain white. I had this image of a little sparkle. 
Okay, this looks like the proper consistency for me. And let's go. Now I want to take care when I apply the paste that I don't apply it in any area that I don't want it. For example, I don't want to get it on the, the scarf. I don't want to get it on the twigs. And I will probably use a little bit smaller of a squeegee for some of the tighter areas here. Oops, big mistake. Hang on a second. Because this is a canvas, I want to put something behind it so that when I put a little pressure, I'm not actually stretching the canvas. There we go. That should work well. And I want to be careful not to go off of the canvas because unlike a chalkboard, cleanup isn't as easy and sometimes not quite possible. Okay, I'm gonna go back over this, remove my excess. Smooth it out. I think I have good coverage there. Now, I want to use a little bit smaller of a squeegee to get the word snow in theirs. This is actually where the multi-tool comes in very handy. Put those little tight spots. Okay, I'm going to put that in my water bath to clean it. And as that's soaking for a minute, I'm going to come in with my Morning Sky Blue Paste and use this for the scarf. This looks like it's drying rather quickly on me. It's a nice hot July day and I've got the air on pretty high. And it seems to be blowing across my table a little bit. So what I'm going to do is spritz a paper towel and lay it over what I've already chalked. To keep 
it as moist as possible so it doesn't dry out while I work on the rest. I'm going to go with the blue hat. I'm going to make sure my fuzzing cloth is underneath there, give me a little support. That's good. So what makes you think of Christmas? What sights, sounds, smells put you in the Christmas spirit? For me, I think it's always jingle bells. If I hear some bells jingling, that makes me think of Christmas immediately. And pine cones and cinnamon. And of course, Christmas carols. I am doing this a little bit thicker than normal just because I don't want it to dry out. Okay, I need to get my arms and my carrot nose. Excuse me, where I wash a little bit over here in my um, water bath. I have about an inch or so of water in a little tub that I put my to tools and transfers in. so I can clean as I go along. And also wash my hands if necessary, like I just got a bunch of white chalk on them. Okay. Let me get in there and work on that little orange nose here. Hopefully this hasn't dried out. Now that looks like it's still good enough. Little carrot nose. Do you have any memories of making snowmen when you were snowmen when you were younger? Oh goodness, I can remember one year my friends and I made this huge snowman. The snow was beautiful for packing and it just kept getting larger and larger and larger and we had to have one of their dads come and he actually move it to their yard and try rolling into the yard. It just kept grabbing more snow and it was getting larger and larger and larger. It was absolutely amazing and it lasted for days. Okay, I'm going to spritz and cover my top portion also. So that'll keep it moist. And then I'm going to work on my twig arms. Somewhere over around here, I have my copper shimmer paste. Here we go. Our shimmer paste come in copper, silver, gold and red now they're very pretty Add a little bit of zip to what you're working on if you'd be interested in having a little package of joyland on your doorstep once a month consider signing up with club couture Every month you'll receive an exclusive transfer, exclusive to Club Couture customers, along with the paste to complete your project. And once you're done, you have that transfer that can be used over and over. Nice little way of easily sparking your creativity. For only $19.99 a month, it's really a great deal. Try and get the rest of that. And let me do it my other side. Get that a little moist. Get our little twig arm over here. Get it fully covered and remove any excess. 
and back in the jar goes. Oops. I'm not the fastest chalker, so I think the um, paper towel really helps. You can see it's really drying at the bottom here, so I want to make sure my hands are clean. They don't have any chalk paste on it because I don't want to transfer it to the canvas. And then I'm going to lift from the back or from the bottom and pull the transfer up at a 90 degree angle. Checking from coverage, good coverage as this goes along. Oh, I think he's so cute. I'm going to put this transfer in my little water bath. What a sweet snowman. Got a little moisture there. Oh, what do you think of him? There's no place like home. Oh, is he adorable or what? And then I'm going to use this Buffalo check black, black and white um, ribbon on the side to create a bow for him. If you'd like to see additional videos, and um, tips and tricks and other things, events, etc., please consider joining my VIP group. To do that, just comment, add me below, and I will add, me, add you to my group. Thank you so very much for, welcome, for watching day three of my Christmas in July. I really appreciate it. Um, please like and share this video if you've enjoyed it. Have a wonderful life.